Yeah, Greg was telling me before that the guy came out of the bushes behind him with a machete. Yeah. So we gotta really watch our backs getting through here. All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. We are out here on West Bolden Creek Greenbelt. Uh, this area's supposedly gotten pretty violent. Uh, the vice president of the visitors or the uh, neighborhood association I've been talking to and uh, the uh, folks that live around here, they're pretty concerned about their safety. Uh, a lot of th this apartment complex is right here by the entrance to the trail so we're gonna go off in here and see if we can document what's happening and uh, possibly talk to some folks I know the city's looking at they've already cleaned this area once um, but uh, probably gonna have to do it again and and try to get more people into housing right across the thing I don't know if you can see it very well but there's a, a camp already right there so let's go down there in here and see what we can find camp right on the other side um, it's right on a creek. I, I believe uh, this is a Holy spring creek. water, ain't it? Yeah. One of the natural springs here in Austin. It's a beautiful area. Look at the color of that water. Uh, kind of a dangerous place to have a camp, actually. Being right there on the edge, I would hate to, I'd hate to fall off of that thing. So as we're walking along here on the west west side of Bolden Creek, there's. Uh, that looks like where most of the camps are at over there. We're going to make our way onto that other side here shortly. But so far, all the camps are on the other side. So this green belt is beautiful. Um, this is probably one of the the better green belts in Austin. I mean, it's uh, kind of dangerous if, if you're not used to hiking. I mean, you can see how video is probably not picking up exactly how steep this is but it is a beautiful beautiful green belt very steep and this is right in the middle of the city that's what makes this thing awesome you know you can live and work in a big city and then literally walk a mile and then you're you know off in the forest so to speak beautiful beautiful area <clears throat> awesome awesome hike if if that's what you're into it's got to be real careful all right dang look at that over there there's a lot of massive camps out here on this on the west side they're dirty they're burning fires i would hate for anybody to live on this green belt once everything starts dying look right let's see prime example it's crazy crazy man we've had a lot of uh, people contact us uh, about some of the the camps the homeless camps on this green belt wanting to get it documented the neighborhood association has contacted me um, that butts up against the green belt uh, people don't feel safe that live by here uh, a lot of fires going on a lot of stealing in the neighborhoods and a lot of violence so we're going to come out here and uh, see what we can document offer some help if people want help and uh, go from there but there's a big camp right here in front of us that you can see already and uh, yeah it's this whole place is just full of people at the moment so the city has uh, they've already cleaned this area once it cost them almost a hundred grand to clean this green belt of all the homeless camps and that was several months ago and uh, as you can see it's already uh, it's already packed with people again so I've been working with the city some and it looks like they are actually getting ready to uh, come in here and and clean again at some point so yeah so um, 
anyway I hope you enjoy this video uh, if nothing else it's a beautiful area and it's it's a good video to watch it's very very beautiful out here so keep on watching I hear power tools Huh? Yeah, it's grown up, hasn't it? I can't tell what's poison ivy from not poison ivy. Yeah, I just haven't touched anything. I'm trying not to. What's back this way? We're going left. We're going this way? Yeah, we're going left. Look at this. Look at this area here. They've got like a privacy barrier up it's crazy so we're not too far into the green belt and I mean check this out there this whole massive encampment this whole compound it's just huge there's dogs. There's a big sign back there that says caution dogs will bite. We've been attacked by dogs before on trails and I'm, I'm really not too excited to get attacked again. So if you're walking in this green belt, please be careful. It's a beautiful area, but it's dangerous. Not only with the people living here, that's, you know, drugs and alcohol and things, but with the animals. You know, it really makes me mad that, that people, you know, we come out here and I'm scared to walk on this green belt because of animals. It really makes me mad. Yeah, we've been bit before walking these trails not this trail but in another part of the city and I'm have no uh, no desire to be bit again and I tell you it really makes me really makes me mad that you can't even walk these green belts <clears throat> without being worried about being bit by a dog It's extremely frustrating. Is this the entrance? Another entrance? Oh, this is where we're going to go cross and come back up the other way, isn't it? We are right here. We can go B. Yeah, let's just go. E where we were. Yeah, and then cross over. That's fine. Yeah, let's do that. All right. That's a. That's the other entrance. Yeah. So we're at the south entrance to the green belt. And uh, we're going to actually go up and walk back this way. We just came down this way. So we're going to go across and back up and over. And then we're going to come right down here. And then exit back out. So. All right, you ready? Hey, I'm going. Who is it? So we just talked to um, a guy that was here doing the point in time count a month or so ago, and he was threatened with a guy with a machete and a guy with a pocket knife. So we're not going to hang out in this area too much longer. It's a bad area. It's dangerous. So. We're going to head back the way we came and not really bother these folks too much. Definitely don't want any trouble. It's crazy that you can't walk on a public trail without being threatened. Insane.
Yeah, I mean, this place is just massive. You got your camera still rolling? Yep, okay, perfect. Yep. Just in case. This whole area, probably a half a mile along, is just full of camps. And it's a violent area. Supposedly there's a lady living in here that is pregnant and uh, that apparently that was uh, a few months ago that was during the point in time count the pit count so if she's still here or still pregnant who knows but he got ran out of here doing something official so they're definitely not going to want to see us we're not even going to go in there and offer help it's just not safe That hurt. <laughs> I say we just keep walking like we are not interested. In. Yeah, it is if it wasn't so damn dangerous, you know. Look how big this thing is. It literally goes from that side all the way back. It's huge. Massive. There's electricity in there. There's uh, lights shining. And then apparently there's a lady that lives right over there. I mean, oh. look at that little pool down there. You see that guy sitting there watching us? That's the third guy that I've seen watching us. Have you seen, did you see that last guy? Yeah. All right, so we're past the main part of these camps and I'm kind of glad they have their lookouts watching. Some of them you can see, most of them you can't. But back there, that guy was definitely watching us, seeing what we were doing and like I said, the neighborhood association if they were threatened out of here they definitely don't want to see us so we're gonna get out of here we're gonna make a video I'm gonna contact the city and let them know what's happening in here and go from there sorry I'm out of breath we're going up and down and up and down this is a very rough trail right Tim yeah. So I got Tim here with me, and I don't think I would be in here by myself. You know, it's just sad that this is a one of the nicest public trails in Austin, and you can't walk it. People don't feel safe. Nobody uses this trail anymore because of the homeless folks and how dangerous and violent it is. It's really upsetting, and I can't believe the city lets this shit continue. Pardon my language, but this is infuriating. This whole thing is full of camps, but back there on the south end, if you're on, you know, if you if you come out to this camp to walk, please be careful, especially if you're on the south end. That's where that massive camp, and that's where it's very violent. Um, yeah most of the, the so this is we're walking half we're walking on the uh, east side of the creek there's a whole trail back on that side and you can't use it it's blocked so 
But if you look, all right, we are aborting walking any more of this trail simply because of how dangerous it is. Um, while we were back on the trail back there, there was no fewer than three eyes, three sets of eyes on us at all times. Not only that, but there's dogs in here and um, the dogs will bite. We've been bitten before and I'm really not looking forward to getting bit again, so it's crazy. It's crazy. I'll have more to say on this coming up for sure.